going on dates with you. You're my fiance. You have me forever. That's true. I can't wait to marry you. Romantic relationships so often include a level of chemistry and compatibility, but some people are looking for things other than love. Cultural commentator and comedian Kamal Bell is in Mobile, Alabama, to stage a date between an affluent woman and her younger romantic partner who, as it turns out, is just in it for the money. Let's see what Americans think about dating for money instead of love. You see a wealthy woman who's now dating a young guy. Would you wonder about the ulterior motives? I mean, to each their own. Everyone's not a different type. Just because you're wealthy, don't shut yourself off to finding someone that might be a younger man. It's a lot of sugar mamas out here in the world, man. <laughs> Looking for some young bucks. <laughs> that kind of behavior, in large part, is why we have a deteriorated family unit in our country. It's really not none of my business. I just hope that everybody is happy when when they do get married. Kamal and our crew are at T.P. Crockmeyer's to see if folks think she's a consenting adult or a victim signing up for heartbreak. Oh my God, now how's this gonna go? Okay. Oh, I think I need a rock. Go as big as you wanna go. We'll make sure that you get earrings to match. How about that? I like it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. There you see her, don't you? There you see her. Hey. That lady. What's up, boss? How y'all doing? Oh my God. Hey, all right. Y'all seen the zoo? Yeah. That's gonna be my wife right there, man. Hey, sh hey. I'm glad to see Shriver still alive. That's my ticket. I ain't working no more. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> she loaded. <laughs> hey, you hear me, young man? You pay attention. So you don't even really like her, do you? I mean, I just have my chicks on the side. She got the cheddar, so. <laughs> Mom, but look, check it out. Look, like she already iced me out. We've been dating three weeks. She already iced me out. I mean, don't you think that's taking advantage of her? <laughs> He's being the voice of reason, and they're laughing at him. She getting what she want. Like, she want a young man, right? So I'm giving her the young man. I can't wait to quit my job, you hear me? Don't say that out loud. I just put in my two weeks notice. Hey, baby, I was missing you. You look so gorgeous. Thank you. So y'all are like really in love, huh? Say what now? Y'all are like really in love? Yeah. I'm sorry, you boys talking about me? You love him? Yes. Hey, so this is my love and we get married. Just wanted to tell you that. Congratulations. But I have been waiting forever. Really? Everybody told me. Wait, be patient. I've kissed a lot of frogs. I finally found my prince. Oh, good. So I'm happy for you. I want something that says, when people see me, I'm married. So, if it's fair, right? If she get a ring, I should get a car. What? What? <laughs> Why should the woman be the only one to get something? I feel like if she gets the ring, I should get like a Bentley, of course. What? Why don't you act like you're getting a phone call? Give me one second. Okay. Yo, yeah, what's going on? Heard that? Excuse me. Yeah. So I had to ask me the wow. No, actually, um, I was working and he came into my place of business. Oh, awesome. Some of my friends say, go for it. Some of them say, baby, he's taking advantage. He makes me happy. He makes me smile. I feel sexy. That's the only thing that matters. Your friends don't have to be with him. Only you. Yes. There's nothing I've noticed that says, you know, watch out. Go for it. Did you get the ring? That's what we're going when we leave here. We're going to have dinner, and then we're going to go ring shopping. Oh, okay. awesome. Okay. He, he, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then she cackled. <laughs> we should get ready to break. Thank you. I think you've done enough. Hey, <laughs> how are you folks doing? Hey, hey how, how are you, you doing, Kamal Bell? <laughs> we were, I'm with ABC. The show's called oh, What Would You Do? Boy, and we wanted to see what y'all would do <laughs> if you sat next to these two people. <laughs>
<laughs> and when, he's also an actor over there. This brother's not. <laughs> he's all, they're all actors. Oh, Lord, and we wanted to see what would happen, and y'all were all in it. We, How do we do? You did great. I, was, I didn't want to come out here. I was watching. <laughs> I felt like I was watching a Tyler Perry movie at some I'm point. So freaking mad with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a therapist and I should know better. Here's the thing, you don't realize this, but your eyes told the whole story. <laughs> like this is not something going on here. I don't know what's happening. Our cameras are rolling in Alabama and Kamal Bell is behind the scenes watching a cash motivated player and an unsuspecting woman. I've kissed a lot of frogs. I finally found my friends. Oh so. good, so I'm happy for you. This table didn't see anything wrong with a wealthy woman supporting an opportunistic young man. That's my ticket. I ain't working no more. <laughs> but now we've asked the restaurant to seat a new couple near our actors. Thank you. How are you guys? Howdy. I want you to decide the ring that I should have. Okay, well, since you're spending the money and it's yours, I say do what you want to do. As big as you like, as pretty as you like, as bold as you like. I mean, I'm paying for it, but you know, okay. I already told my roommates I'm moving out. That makes me very happy, and you get the things you want. You got a point. So, be right back. Okay. Hey, <laughs> that's my golden ticket right there. I just hit the lottery. She's loaded. You can start hitting on Megan. Where you come from? You're, you're pretty. Oh, well, thank you. But um, is there anything you'd like to order yet? Look, can I see this? I'll give you my number right quick. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was missing you. Adrian can get a phone call. Hey. Okay, well, you can look to them and just be like, I'm, you know, I'm so lucky. I finally found the love of my life. You guys look like you've been together for a while? Yeah, we've been together for a while. Well, I haven't been with him a long time, but I feel like it's right. I'm a little older. I've never been married. Kissed lots of frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that this time I'm going to get it right. How long have you known him? Not terribly long. But he wants to do it now. Why? There we go. Because it feels good? I don't know. I was engaged one time. OK. To a guy, and it felt really good. Mm -hmm. I really loved him. And we got engaged at a year. OK. One of my friends said, you need to wait another year. And I was so glad I did, because it wasn't right. I was glad she said that. It takes you a while to really know something. We, we've actually only been together for three weeks. And the Whoa. <laughs> OK. That is love at first sight. It God. is. It is. I think he's impressed with your money. What do you mean? Well, that's what I heard. You're, you're putting me on the spot. It's OK. I, I need to know this. What did he say? Just, she's loaded. As a counselor, I get it. There's stages of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Everybody starts out in the honeymoon stage. Everything's lovely, everything's right. And then it goes into the wart stage. The wart stage. And then you start to see, this, isn't, this person isn't perfect. Can I live with these things? But they are facing reality about who each other is by then. I mean, I haven't seen any warts. I would like to, I mean, I don't know how long it takes for them to show up, but have you seen any warts? Well, just what was said about the money, that's about it. Just, just the loaded. Yes, I feel kind of uh, bad saying that, actually. <laughs> no, no. All right, you uh, you should not get married to him, especially because this is a TV show. You're on ABC, what would you do? That's Whoa. what's happening right now. Whoa. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that was hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You were in there working. Yes. Uh, you were doing yes. some free work right there. I was trying. What was this guy doing that was making you fearful? Well, 
I, I, they was telling everybody it was about the money. It wasn't about her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you were trying to be gentle about it. So what was going on for you during that whole thing? I uh, fear for her. It was, it was one of those, should, should you say something? No, you shouldn't say it. Should you say something, you know? Yeah. Thank you for helping this, this poor lady. Not poor, but, but unfortunate. <laughs>